and welcome back everybody you're here with Eleanor the real deal with Eleanor today we're doing a drive to work so we've just got some petrol and we pull it out now so today I thought it'd be fun if you've been watching my YouTube channel and you've seen my Euro trucking simulator well this is the real driving simulator so I'm just gonna do our drive to work daily commute. Uh, we're just on a service road now. And uh, coming up to the set of lights. I'm going to try and get back on the motorway. It's the M1 in Brisbane, Australia. And we're going to get back on here. Hopefully the traffic's going to start flowing for us. Normally at this time of the morning, it's dead stop but it looks like we've got some movement so I hope you don't get motion sickness because uh, we've been trialling this out a little bit of what they call a vlog I suppose and uh, we're going to get from here um, as I said just got some petrol so we've got enough to get me to work and back again so this is the daily grind this is uh, 40 minute trip from home to work every day of the week. This is why I'd rather be doing YouTube. But anyway, how's everybody going? Today, uh, look, we've got some brakes on. There's the motorway starting to slow down again. So we're meant to be doing 100k. So that's 100k's an hour. And we're back down to 60 in three lanes. 60 is actually pretty fast for the morning commute, so I'm not going to worry about that. We're also going to keep in mind that we can go left at any time and shoot up the service road. Which we might just hang a left here on this, uh, what they call the slow lane, just in case we need to get off. Because it does actually look like, yep, I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, traffic's coming to a standstill. Everybody's hard on the brakes. Climbing down through the gears, 100k area, and we're doing 32 if we're lucky. Now, if you can see that side speed cap was used in this area, not really, because you never ever get to 100. So anything over 100k's you get a speeding ticket for, and you get fines for it. But uh, we're barely doing 20k's. And come to think of it, since I've been in Australia, I've never seen a speed camera in this area. So I think that sign is not really worth uh, the tin it's printed on. Or aluminium. So we're just climbing through the gears now. We're in second gear. As I say, this is the daily grind. 40 minute trip to work. 40 minute trip home. Basically two hours of the day of my life gone. Just driving. Sitting behind some other ute that's crawling along. I got a big Mac truck behind me which is pretty cool. I don't know what he's carrying. Looks like to be some rock star. Um, some drinks or something like that. So what we might do is there is an exit coming up here. We won't do the full motorway grind today because I really do have to get to work. Uh, today I can't be late. So I got the boss coming out. So uh, we're going to shoot down the service road here and avoid the, the motorway. some distance on the clock. So a bit of motion sickness coming up. Just hold on to your lunch. Hopefully we're not going to crash. Better turn my indicator on. And shoot through and go 
know, behind this Mazda, probably for the rest of the way. So now we're on a 60k road, which is parallel to the motorway. 60k road, and we're doing 80, and the motorway is doing probably 20, if we're lucky. I'm just going to take a drink of this uh, tasty beverage here. A little bit of a battery to get me going in the morning. No drink and drive kiddies. Now as this is the uh, season to be jolly, um, please make sure that you're safe on the roads. If, if your kids are watching this, uh, don't annoy your kid, uh, don't annoy your parents that are driving. They need 100% focus on the road at all times. So that's my Christmas holiday uh, safety message to you guys. If you want to get there in time, and you want to get there safely, just leave your parents to drive it. Anyway, it looks like we're going to be stuck behind this Mazda uh, here. We're going to call them 196. Still, we're making time. I think we're, yeah, we're definitely making time better than what we would have on the motorway. Just a little service road shortcut, if you know it. If anybody goes to work regularly like I do, um, you get to know these shortcuts. It means more driving. I mean, I am driving a manual. Uh, you won't see it, but I am changing gears, slowing down a lot more footwork but who would drive an automatic I mean I drive an automatic on the computer game but that's about it um, an automatic driver is a lazy driver I believe so mm, another drink of the tasty beverage there uh, so if your kids are watching this at all um, if you're going for your driver's license, always learn to drive a manual first. Uh, that way you can drive any car in the world once you've learned to drive a manual. Here in Australia, I think if you learn to drive an automatic, if you actually pass your license on an automatic, that's all you can drive. So if you end up buying a manual or, or getting in a manual car, you're actually illegal to drive it. If you've got an automatic license. So we're still on the service road, we're just gonna jump over the top of the motorway here and get down the side of it again. Oop, and we're gonna get in the right gear, get in the right gear so we can go up the hill. So your yeah, traffic's all backed up, I don't know if you can see that. It's definitely all backed up there. While they're sitting there going nowhere, we're traveling along at about oh, 65 k's in the 60 area. So, still behind uh, number 196. Hopefully we can get rid of him at the roundabout. Yep, he's going left, we're going straight. Roundabouts are always my curse. As I said in my games, my Euro Trucking games, go check them out. Here's the traffic report for the morning. Gonna come through the radio soon. With a few showers as well, 80% chance of rain in fact, and maybe even some storms later on today. Yeah, but some a storms top, coming. 33 degrees. It's going to be a stink up. We've got big delays, a big stinker in fact on the Centenary Highway after a five car nose to tail on the Chinderley Bridge inbound in the right lane. One car left waiting to be towed away, but big delays now all the way back to Dara, and that'll be back onto the Ipswich Motorway fairly soon. Ipswich Motorway itself slow going from Wakehall through Dara and Oxley. A single vehicle accident through Kingston. It's on Kingston Road, or it's off Kingston Road, southbound off to the left-hand side around Bega Road. Gone off the other uh, side of the road. Pacific Motorway slow going from Greenslopes to the city, and the M1 from the Hyperdome up to Eight Mile Plains. 
Maya. You'll find just what you want this Christmas at Maya with 30% of food for gifts like campers, baked goods and confectionery. Exclusions apply. Alright, so that's an advert. We'll probably try and edit that one out. Uh, we don't want to get any strikes in the old YouTube. Uh, but yeah, that's the traffic report for the morning. So a lot of uh, accidents and everything like that. This guy on the left had no idea that his lane was ending. Uh, I think he's on the phone. Either that or he's never driven this road before. So we managed to lose now who we've got seven five twos in front of us now. So we're still, as I said, on the service right now. Go left. And that car can stay there and it's coming. So we're now catching up to the banked up traffic that everybody thinks that they can shoot through the service right. Just gotta have a drink. Had to clear the throat then. Well that to wake me up. Now the other day I wasn't doing much of this driving. Um, I had my wife's car and uh, went to go pick up my little girl Amber her school on her last day of school because it is Christmas holidays here today. Um, I had to go pick her up and the car didn't work. She's got an automatic and it just wouldn't go into gear. So I had to call the tow truck out uh, and get it repaired. Cost about uh, nearly $500 all up that afternoon uh, with taxis, uh, tow truck and the fix. About $500. So it wasn't a good day, but I did get, get go for a ride uh, with the Tojo, and it's quite interesting. Uh, if you've seen my Euro trucking, uh, it's very interesting being in the truck. Now all slowed up now because that that truck went left. That was in front of us. Everybody's going so slow. Uh, you can see the motorway, it has started moving again, but just up around the corner there, it's stopped. So we could get back on, and we might get back on. Uh, just looking at the time now. Might have time enough to get on there. This trader youth in front of us. So, yeah, got to have a ride in the uh, tow truck. And being in the passenger seat of a truck, it, it's it's a different perspective. Um, we had we, we were coming around the corner and we had the car on the back and we just loaded up. We're coming around the corner from my house and this car, this other ute was coming towards us and it was dead set, it was in our lane. It saw us coming and, we were, and the tow truck driver was like, well he doesn't want to live. And at the very last second he just swerves. Uh, he either didn't see this big honking tow truck coming towards him, or he wasn't paying much attention to the road at all. So we're now stuck at some lights. Still on the service road, as I said. Come on, where's the green light? Alright, we've got green to go. If everybody goes at the same time, we'll be able to make it through. Come on, people. Move. We're going to hit an orange. No, come on, move. God damn it. Get out of the way. Alright, so. The motorway or not the motorway? That is the question. And 
know, I think for today we'll do the motorway. So we sort of cut back on, uh, so we cut off and then cut back on. So if we get held up at here, man, we're going to get held up at some lights, which is okay for me. Then we'll take a break and uh, have another drink. So normally you've got the radio blaring, um, singing along, is basically what else is there to do for a 40 minute drive. Um, today it's looking pretty good. So I won't take you all the way to work, so whatever gets recorded gets recorded. But um, we'll get the main part of the journey done. Now we're going to get a green arrow here. Yes, finally. So yeah, normally got the radio blaring away. One of those uh, in the shower singers or in the car singers. But today can't do it because we're doing some YouTube blogging. And if I do that, I'll get strikes, copyright strikes, left, right, and centre. Jumping back on the on ramp here. If we can get a good good flow, no, we can't. Oh, it looks like there's more traffic to come. Well, we've even got the hazard lights getting onto the motorway, so this should be interesting. And I've just seen the traffic helicopter going above us. I won't be reading out a report anytime soon. Now, in Brisbane, on the motorways, when you're coming on the on ramp, as you can, I don't know if you can see the sign, but no pedestrians, bicycles, animals, tractors, or mopeds are allowed on the motorway. This guy sliding up to the left of us. Oh, he's good, he's taking the exit. Uh, that's the rural, uh, the residential exit there. Thought he was going to try and cut in line. So we're on the prepare to stop, the stop go to, that lets um, people want in and off the motorway. So two lanes form one. How many cars we can jump here? So as you can see, the the red and green, uh, sorry, the traffic lights up there. The, they're designed to let everybody in, like a zip. So one car from one side, one car from the other side, uh, one vehicle per lane on green signal, and that changes so fast. You watch, green, gone. It's meant to let only one car from each lane on. See, that car's taking it off on the red. He's taking off on the red. Well, the faster lane, the faster entry lane would have been the left hand one. However, the right hand one should have right of way. Once you get past the lights. So, we're going to jump the red as well. I'm going to follow this car, let this Mazda come in, in front of us, and get back on, on the motorway, look at that lovely traffic, morning commute in Brisbane, I'm going to try and get in behind this uh, red Toyota here, Gently, just like a glove. Trucking to the right of me. I definitely want to get on that right hand lane as soon as possible because this one, this lane here goes off to the airport and we're not going to the airport today, guys. So I either want to get behind or in 
front of this truck. Looks like I'm a little behind because there's a ute that's come up on the right hand side here. And 
down to 20k again. Brilliant. See, this is what happens. When I set this this whole motorway goes from four lanes down to three, as soon as you cut a lane out, where's that all the rest of the traffic gonna go? They all have to merge in, so um Oh, there's the traffic report. It's usually bridge now. It's all after the bridge now, off to the left-hand side. Plenty of activity still, and traffic is still all the way back to Dara, back onto the Ipswich motorway, and the Ipswich motorway itself. Slow going now from Wakehold all the way through Dara and Oxley. Just on the tail end of a car that went off the side of the road, Kingston Road southbound, off to the left around Bega Road as you head through Kingston. Busy conditions on the Pacific Motorway this morning from Tarragindi all the way through to the city. And That's the us. Southbound busy from Anzac Avenue down to the Pine River Bridge. And visit Big W today to grab great daily deals. Today's hot offer, 50 So, we're in the, uh, in that last part of that transmission. The busy, uh, Pacific Motorway. Alright guys, if you've watched it this far, go check out my other videos. I've got some Euro truck in there, where I attempt to drive a truck around Europe. Probably actually do much better driving a real car, but... We'll see how the vlog goes, if you like it, um, we'll get some views on it, we'll do another one, um, maybe the drive home, that's on the road, that's all that traffic coming towards us. So while we do the same drive to work, same roads basically, every day of the week, every day of the week it's always different. Even though it's the same roads, different conditions, different idiots on the road. Alright, so we're slowly getting through. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but we've got the Brisbane CBD in, in the uh, foreground there. And you can see now that the traffic is backed up for about oh, a kilometre. Maybe more. We've got people trying to zip in. Oh, I've got a bus there that thought he might get in between me and this Dodge. No, it ain't gonna happen. Uh, I'm one of those drivers that believe if you're in a lane, stay in that lane unless you unless you're getting off. Uh, don't try and skip in between people. I'll catch it and I'll block it out. So now we are coming up to quite a bit of traffic. But in saying that, where we're coming up to hit the traffic is a fixed speed camera. Now this isn't a hidden speed camera by any means. Everybody knows where the speed camera is because it's got markings on the ground um, and it's got I think maybe three signs. Oh, getting close there. I think it's got about three signs um, telling you that the speed camera is ahead, telling you you should slow down. So if you miss all these three big signs, three or two big signs. Uh, and you go past the speed camera and you're doing over the speed limit, you're an idiot. It's not as if it's hidden. They give you three warnings. So there's the first one, if you can see that. How big is that sign? If you cannot see that sign, and slow down, because the speed camera is still probably, I don't know, 400 metres away from that sign. If you haven't, that motorbike, he's going to be in trouble if he doesn't watch what he's doing. So if you don't slow down before that, you're an idiot. But people still do. They, they just keep driving. They don't see the signs. They don't pay attention to what's going on around. idea why we're doing, oh, we're barely doing 20k's in a 
100k area, three lanes of traffic, peak hour in the morning. Everybody's trying to get to work. We'll just sit behind this dodge and take another sip of the morning drink. So there's the next sign for the speed camera. It's operating 24 hours. So you better slow down. Now if you can see it, um, just look to your right. You'll see a grey box on top of a pole. It's coming up on the right hand side here soon. And it's got another pole beside it which has its uh, flashlight camera on it. And you'll see the markings of the can on, on the road as well that uh, delineate uh, the speed at which you're going so it can measure. Right, you might not see it, it's now behind a, uh, kind of maneuvered it behind some trees, or the trees are growing. You can't quite see it there until you're on top of it. But we're back to doing 60k, which is good, because I'm coming up on my exit here yeah, now. middle lane here, make sure no one's coming across. Now we need to slide up behind this hold in here. And we've got the next exit on the left hand side. And that'll finish off the video for today. I'll do the rest of the commute to work by myself. Thanks again for watching everybody, if uh, you liked it, leave a like, uh, subscribe and go check out my uh, other driving videos, my Euro Trucking, we've got the executive challenge going on between me and Spock1980 at the moment, and uh, to see who's the better driver, in real life he drives an auto, and I drive a manual, so uh, let's just see who's the better driver in both. So we're coming up on the exit, so thanks very much guys, my name's Alan On, and we'll see you next time, bye bye.